Welcome to the Mount Pilgrim Missionary Baptist Church Network, where we are building faith and transforming life. Where our senior pastor is the Reverend James I. Perkins. Welcome to the weekly podcast. Just a little something to get you through your week. Enjoy. Be blessed. Well, good day. And welcome to another Tuesday noonday Talk with Jesus. As the uh, as the uh, beginning said, just a little something to get you through the week. And I hope that this will be a, a blessing to you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. God, I honor you. I know beside thee there is no other God. And I ask God for the forgiveness of my sins and help me to always honor and praise your holy name. God bless us through this podcast. Bless my my words. God, I pray that you'd fill me with your spirit, that what I say and do be pleasing to you. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to come to you this morning out of our today, 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. And let's read verses 16 through 18. For all things are for your sakes, that grace, having spread through the many, may cause thanksgiving to abound to the glory of God. Therefore, we do not lose heart, even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporarily, but the things which which are not seen are eternal. You know, sometimes in our lives, we've got to transform trouble into blessings. Uh, we've got to understand that because we are saved and because we are, are, are seniors or because we th- that we are not going to go through some troubles. A- amen. But no matter what it is that we go through, our troubles, our trials should not diminish our faith. It ought not to make you think, I can't do this. I can't. That's why it is so important for Sunday school. It's why it's so important for Bible study. Because the Word tells us that, that in all things, Give God the praise. Bible tells us to lean not to our own understanding. A lot we get from these programs in our churches. So don't think that you are too holy and you are too spiritual to not to go to Bible study. Sometimes our problem can cause us to be disillusioned. Don't let the devil trick you into falling back or forgetting about where you come from. As Christians, in every day of our lives, we should realize, and this is what I want to emphasize, that look at it like this. When you're going through something, there's a purpose for everything. Look at what you're going through. Look in the mirror and say, okay, God, what is it that you want me to see? Okay, God, what is it that you want me to know? Every problem is not to defeat you. Every situation is to not for God to send his wrath on you. It's not God's wrath. Sometimes he has to carry us through things in order to get our attention. Because some of us are hard-headed. Some of us don't see it right then. Amen? Guess who? <laughs> I, I, I'm one of those. But when I think of 2 Corinthians in our, in, in our scripture, the 17th verse. But let, let me go back to the 16th. For all things are for your sakes. You see that? Paul says, for all things of whatever it is that you're going on, don't blame somebody else. Look at it and let it be a benefit for you. Let it be a stepping stone for you. Amen. But look at verse 17. For our light afflictions, which is just for a moment. Douglas tells me that all the time. That is just a temporary setback. And the word tells me that trouble don't last always. It's going to be some light at the end of that tunnel. You'll be able to climb over that mountain if you don't give up. 
If you hang on in there and trust in God, you can make it out of any situation that you're in. Because guess what? God already sees what you're in. He's already right there with you. He, you remember he was right there with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? He was right there. Don't you remember? Don't you know that? He was right there in the lion's den with Daniel. Yeah, he was. He was right there in the storm with the heap with with, uh, with the disciples. God is everywhere, you guys. We can't go nowhere where He's not. So don't think that 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 you are by yourself. He said, if you take the wings and fly away to heaven, I'm there. If you make your bed in hell, I'm there. He'll be right there with you. I, I read this poem of Madame Guyon, I believe it is. It says this. It is the fire of suffering that brings forth the gold of goodness. If you read, I read that when they mining for gold, they take the gold and they'll put it in a solution and make that fire as hot as it can be in that solution. And what that does, it pulls off all the impurities out of that gold. And all the impurities would rise to the top and the gold will stay there. And what they do, they just take it and take a big, uh, 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 I don't know, shovel or whatever, and rake all the impurities off, and there's that gold. And that just leads me to know, hey, look, there is something in the midst of all of us. God takes all of the bad that's on the outside, and look what we got on the inside. Look who we are on the inside. God is not interested in the outside. And, and, and uh, the Bible, the Bible tells us, and, and, and I hate to quote stuff, but I think I'm not sure, but I'm not going to quote the scripture because I'm not sure, where it says that iron sharpens iron. We are the one that bring people into the church. We are the one that should go out. You see, we leave everything up to the pastors. Well, pastor, you got to do, well, what about you? We're the one that build our church. You ought to go out and, and, and just tell somebody, well, come on to church with me. Now, you know why we can't do that? Because you are here every now and then, you know. But if you would just go out and say, well, let's go to church. Or oh, will you come to church with me? And it makes me think sometimes you're ashamed of our church. Because none of you never invite anybody. And, and I could be wrong, so somebody need to call me and correct me. Why you don't bring or invite somebody to your church? No one. And I get back to myself. I know I don't start preaching. I'm teaching and going to mess and everything. But nobody is immune from pain or suffering. We all going to go through something. We all have to go through it. You know, when Dave, when God made David king, you know, when he went to went to Jesse's house and, and God told Samuel, that's the one. You see what God had to do? God had to carry David through some stuff to prepare him for the job that he had for him to do. I believe that's why Saul did David like that. Because it was God that put Saul in David's way so that David could be trained to know that, hey, look, just because you king don't mean you ain't going to have some troubles. But a lot of times all those troubles are to made there to make us stronger. So don't get upset. Don't fall by the wayside. A -a Amen. Je like I said, Jesus kept Joseph when he was in that, uh, what was Joseph? In jail. You mean when they put Joseph in jail? Or, 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 or because he didn't go with, what was it, Potiphar's wife or one of them. You remember I, I said the Hebrew brothers? Uh, all of this, God is with us. He'll be right there with us. He said he will be more than a brother, sister, father. He, he will be all that for us. So don't get upset because you have to go to God. Always, we've got to always learn to look and depend on him. Amen. Nobody else, 45 can't do nothing for us. He going around making all these promises, and you crazy people believing that man can do that. Man can't do nothing without God. Amen? So I, I don't want to hold you long. You will, listen to this. I learned this cliche this morning. You will never know that God is all you need until God is all you got. Amen. You hear this? You will never know that God is all you need until God is all you got. So listen, find your way in Sunday school. Find your way in Bible study. Tell somebody else about the podcast at your church. 
at whoever they, they uh, 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 Pastor Rocky has it at, 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 at Faith Tabernacle. Tell somebody, listen to my preacher on Tuesday. Listen to my pastor on Wednesday. Listen to my pastor on Saturday. Here at Mount Pilgrim, tell somebody, listen. That's all we got to do. And, and guess what? That's when we grow, when we do the things that will be pleasing to God. And I just wanted to share this with you about our podcast. It's every Tuesday at noon. Our Bible study is every Wednesday at 7. We have a Bible, I mean a podcast, every Saturday at 9. So be sure and to tune in. And don't forget our, our Facebook or, and our YouTube. You can reach us on our YouTube page at Mount Pilgrim, M-T, Pilgrim, P-I-L-G-R-I-M, Lenore N-C, Mount Pilgrim, Lenore N-C. All we're trying to do is spread the word, is reach the unsaved, and to help to strengthen the saved. So help us to do what it is that God has said for us to do. And may God bless you, and I pray that you'd have a blessed day in Jesus. We thank you for joining us. We are in hopes that something was said that will encourage your day. Now go and be great.